Good morning, everyone. Now, in this webinar, we're just going to look specifically at downloading and installing Quercos. So you can see how easy it is to put it onto your computer and get started. Now, we are using Windows today, um, just as the example here. Um, it's very easy to do on Mac as well. And there's full instructions on our website. So if you first go to www.quercos.com, um, you'll get the page uh, loaded here, and there's lots more information about the product on the main page. Um, just click here. You can actually download straight from the, the main page with um, these links here. But there's more information if you click on the Get Quercos button on the top here. You'll see there's Get Quercos and there's Get Quercos Download. It doesn't matter which of those you click on. And then you can see here, here's the more detailed um, installation instructions. And you'll also find um, that there are uh, more detailed installation instructions here, which also include how to install on Mac. So if you're wanting to do that or on Linux as well, there's also um, instructions for Linux, which are available there. Um, so you can make sure that it runs on whatever platform that you want to run on. Let's go back to the download here. And for now, we'll choose Windows. So whether you've bought a license already or you're just wanting to use the trial, the process is exactly the same. The trial version of the software is the main software. The only difference is that you can only use it for 30 days for the trial. So um, all you have to do when you choose to buy a license in the end is to buy the license key, and then that will just unlock the software already on your computer and you can just keep going with your projects. The trial doesn't do anything to your project files. They're not locked, they're not restricted in any way. So by putting a code in, you can just keep going straight with them or you can email them to other people who have a full version of the license or a trial. There's no restriction on the project files which Quercos creates at all. So I'm just gonna click on the download for Windows here and it asks you to put in an email address. Now, we don't spam people with these emails. We generally send about four emails a year, I think at the moment or something like that. It's only to tell you when there's new versions out. There's actually gonna be a new version at the end of the month. That'll be version 1.4. At the moment we're using version uh, 1.3.2, but the process is exactly the same. And if you're updating, it's also exactly the same. So if you've got one of the older versions, you're moving to the new version, all you have to do is download from this page again and install over the old one. So I'm just gonna put in my email address here and then click on the download button. Now, this is clicking away and depending on your browser, it will come up in different places. You can see this here on the bottom left. Um, and the process, as I said, it's exactly the same for any of the other um, platforms. On Mac, it's very easy to install. You just double click on the file when it's opened and then drag and drop the app into your applications drawer. There's a shortcut in the installer to help you make that happen. And then that's all you need to do, it's installed. On Windows, there is a, a wizard which guides you through the install process. And I'll show you that now. So once this is downloaded, install, you can see somewhere in your browser, sometimes it will be at the top here, you'll have a, a downloads option here to see all the downloads. Um, sometimes, as you said, it will be down here. You have a little arrow here if you're using Firefox. But wherever the file is, um, you can generally find it here in the downloads folder. So if I look at the most recent one, yeah, here it is, Quercos 1.3.2 Windows Installer. So if I double click on that, um, it will just check that you want to install this. It's come from a trusted place. Yes, that came straight from the Quercos website. Don't download from anywhere other than our own official website. Um, and here is the setup wizard. So. We can just click here on the next button um, and then this guides us through the process. So the software license here, do have a read through that. It's a fairly standard um, license which is there to protect you and us. Um, and hopefully if that's all okay for you, just click on I accept the agreement and then the next button. Now the next thing it does is ask you where you want to install. You probably want to keep the default installation directory. That puts it with all the other programs in Windows. But you can actually choose this and put, put it somewhere else. You could install it just for you, the user. Um, it doesn't have to be installed to a system directory. Um, it will run live off a USB stick. In fact, you can choose a USB stick 
and install it from there. And then any computer you put it in, you can be running at least the trial version of Quercos from. Um, so by default, it will put it with the other programs. It's probably the best place to put it. Um, so I'm going to keep that directory and then click on the next button here. And that's all the options that we have before the install process. When you click on next, it will go through and install. As you see, I've, this is a fairly old computer here, about five years old, but it installs in uh, less than 30 seconds. And then you've got two options here. You can put a shortcut on the desktop, which helps you um, launch it directly. So I'm going to do that. And you can also click this button here to launch Quercos. And that means that it will start as soon as you um, click on the finish button here. So just click on finish here. I chose the option not to install that straight away so that I can go and show you. Here's the icon on the desktop, and I can move this around wherever I want. I've got this pretty picture of um, Britain at night from the International Space Station. And you'll also see here that it's been installed into the start menu. So if you type in Quercos here or start typing that, you'll see here is Quercos. So you can launch it from the start menu or just by double clicking on the desktop, just like any other piece of software. So it is a real piece of software that's installed on your computer. Um, it doesn't run from a browser or from a cloud. Um, it's just like installing um, a media player or a game or anything like that onto your computer. So when you first start it, you'll get this dialog, which tells you, so I've already used five days in my trial on this computer, um, how long you've got remaining on your free trial. And as I said, the software is absolutely identical from the trial to the final version. If you like it and want to buy a license, you can do that directly through our website. If you click on the button here, it will take you to that page, actually. And then you can click here on licenses and pricing. And with any of these options here, so there are discounts for students, for uh, charities and um, universities, uh, for public sector, and there's also the commercial license as well. If you don't, aren't entitled to any discounts, and all you have to do is click on the Buy Now button. That takes you to um, our secure page. Check you've got the padlock up there and you've got a secure connection. Um, and that will allow you to place the order. You place the order. There's a couple of different options here, actually. You can choose to um, also have sent a, just for £10 extra, um, a USB stick and a printed copy of the manual. Now, all our support materials are available for free to download on the website without any registration. But if you would like to have a printed copy, I know that's usually a lot easier when you're working um, on a computer to have something to refer to on paper by the side of you. We can send you a printed copy of the manual and also a USB stick. Now, the USB stick, again, there's nothing there that you can't get from the website, but it includes a copy of the software, PDF copies of the manuals, video guides, and the example projects. So if you've got a slow internet connection or you working somewhere where the internet connection is not great, then that can be a, a useful um, tick as well. You also see here that there's the option when you purchase and only when you purchase to um, pay a little extra. I think it's about 30-40% um, extra to get um, a two computer license. So by default, when you place an order, this is only for, um, if I show you the student one, for example, The student license here is only for one uh, computer. So if you've got two computers, for example, if you've got a laptop and you've got a desktop at home, uh, then for just a little bit more, you can have a license that works for two computers. And also there's the final option there, which is to have a um, license for two computers, the printed manual and the USB stick. So when you place your order, this is all fairly straightforward. You will immediately get sent the uh, license code in an email. And then all you have to do is copy and paste the activation key into this box here, and then click on the activate button. And then um, you'll no longer see this uh, nag screen and you'll be able to keep using Quercos uh, for as long as you need. So it's not a, um, a license that expires. Um, it is a perpetual license. So when you purchase it, it's, it's yours for life. So for now, we're just gonna click on the continue trial button. And that lets us um, get into the software itself. So the first thing you'll see, now I've used some projects already on here, but this will probably be blank for you, is you've got this, this recent files here. And this shows you a list of all the different files 
that we have available. You'll see there's two examples here. There's referendum coded example and coded example breakfast. Now these are two examples that we actually have on our website. And if you go, I'm gonna go back to the website here. Um, and if we click on learn, you'll see there's lots of different um, materials here, but you'll also see uh, workshop materials here. Um, so here's one where we have an example project, which you can download the file from here, but we also actually have all of the separate files um, which were part of the project. So if you want to experiment yourself, but you don't have your own data, we've got two complete research projects here, which also have coded files, which you can explore. Now, the other one here, if I go back, is um, one on the Scottish referendum. This is a much more detailed, um, longer research project. And again, we've got um, example project files, which have been completely coded, and the raw files, if you want to start your coding from scratch. So actually what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open the um, breakfast example here. Um, okay, I need to re-download that. So let's do that. So I'm going to go back here, find the breakfast example. Here's the file, breakfast.qrk. So I can click on that, it's downloaded. And now if I click on that, it should start Quercos and open that file. Yep. So I'll just click continue trial, user invoked file. That's the one that I've just downloaded. Showing in the download directory. And there we go, there I've got the project. So that's also, if you want to share your project files with someone, you can send it in an email, you can put it on Dropbox or a USB stick. Your whole project file is, everything is, is contained in that one file. So um, to share your project and show someone else the coding you've done, or if you're working collaboratively on a project, and you want multiple people to do coding on it, very easy to share the file around. So I've also got these options here. Let's create a new project from scratch to show you how that works. I click on the new project button here. Now we've got an option here to put in the author. Now that's so that you know, again, if you're working with multiple people on one project, who's done what bit of work? So you can see that there's options here to password protect the file. You just need to put the password in here twice. Um, make sure that you remember what that password is, obviously. And there's also the option here for structured questions. And we're going to do a webinar about that next time. But for now, we're going to leave that off. That's for if you're doing something like um, an online survey where you're asking the same questions to each person. It helps you structure the project in that way. So I'm going to click on new project here. I'm actually going to remove the password, I think. I don't know what that is. And it will come up with a dialogue here asking you where you want to put this. So um, I'm going to save it in the documents. Actually, just put it on the desktop for now. Um, and we'll call this um, test project. Click on save. And now we're working on that project. So we can click here to add themes and topics in here. Let's call that test. Click around the canvas. We can also bring in sources of data. So if I select a file from right here, and then on the desktop, I've got the example project, which I downloaded from the website. So here's text from Jane, I'll call this source Jane, and then drag and drop and put this on there. So that's how we do the coding in Quercos. Very simple to do. And you'll now notice that there's actually no save button. Now this is deliberate, this is by design. Whenever you do something, so if I drag and drop something here, the file has been saved. So the file is constantly being updated with the work you've done. So all I have to do now is close the file like that, close the project, and everything is actually fine. It's been saved. Here's our test project here on the desktop where we put it. And this file we can copy and email to someone. It's a very small file but we can double click on it, or if we open Quercos again, we'll see in that list of recently used files, here's the test project. Ah, I didn't put the password in, um, exactly as it was before. So that's um, how easy it is to work through um, with the files, work with the files, um, and to share those files with other people. So that's actually all that I'm going to cover for today. I just want to keep this about the um, 
installation. So that hopefully give you an idea of how to download and install the um, software. When the new version comes out next month, um, all you have to do is um, go back to the download page, um, download the new version in the same way, and just install in the same location that you had before. So on Windows, by default, that will be in program files, and it will just overwrite the old version with the new version. It's also possible to put it in a new place and have multiple versions running if you so choose, but there's really no reason to not keep up to date with the newest version. All our updates are free, and everybody who's subscribed or is using the trial at the time can update to the new version. There's no upgrade fee or anything like that. So hopefully that's given you an idea about um, how to get started with Quercos, how to install it and put it on your computer. Um, we'll do a Mac version of these in the future, but if you've got any questions in the meantime, um, do let us know. You can always email us um, with uh, info or support at quercos.com. And also don't forget to check out, we've got a new forum now, which is up and running and live, and it's beginning to get quite active. So. Um, we're also putting updates here about um, what's going on with Quercos. So it's going to be um, another good place where you can look if you get stuck for any information. So I hope that's been useful. Um, as I said, do get in touch, download the trial and see for yourself. Um, and hopefully you have a great week. See you very soon.